By doubting, we come to inquiry, and through inquiry, we perceive truth. Peter Abelard. Often called Descartes of the 12th century, Peter Abelard, or Pierre Abelard, is considered the predecessor of great European philosophers of the 17th and 18th centuries, Rousseau, Kant, and Spinoza. Abelard has left impressive contributions in many fields. He was a philosopher, theologian, logician, musician, composer, and poet. He also left traces on popular culture for his tragic love affair with his student and later wife, Heloise. In his life, he went through being castrated for forbidden love, suffered two nervous breakdowns, and was condemned for heresy by Pope Innocent II. However, Abelard's academic life was very productive. His lecture is popular with thousands of students educated. He added a term, intention, to logic, changed philosophy by introducing nominalism and conceptualism as a solution to the problem of universals, defeating his own teacher, William of Champeaux, master of Notre Dame, and later Bishop of Chalons, who was the defender of philosophical realism. In theology, Abelard developed the concept of limbo, the edge of hell, and introduced morale-influenced theory of atonement, changing God's perception from offended and judgmental to loving. In law, Abelard pointed out that subjective intention defines the moral value of human action, and thus, the legal consequence of an action that a person commits is related to the person. With this doctrine, he initiated the idea of the individual subject central to modern law. This led to School of Notre Dame de Paris, later University of Paris, Sorbonne, being recognized for its expertise in the law, which later led to the foundation of the Faculty of Law. Abelard's contribution to psychology intertwined with the one he made in the field of the law. He wrote Cito Te Ipsum, where he introduced insanity defense, also known as mental disorder defense, which applies that defendant is not responsible for their actions due to an episodic psychiatric disease at the time of the criminal act. Being interested in the concept of intent and inner life in his work, Tractabus de Intellectibus, he developed an elementary theory of cognition, a study of the mental processes such as perception, memory, language use, attention, problem solving, creativity, and reasoning. Abelard wrote many other works, such as Sic et Non, Tractatus de Intellectibus, Dialectica, and many more. His legacy is truly impressive, and today, at the Sorbonne, there's a large mural of Abelard teaching. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.